anyway, uh, I wish everyone a happy new year. And I thought before the year is over, why don't I make a quick video on the greatest find this year? So uh, this is the greatest find this year. This is a jump jacket named to a officer who, um, let me actually tell you some details about this. So basically I, so I think a week before this, uh, somebody posted quite a few uh, uniforms of an individual, a, a colonel, who was in the 11th Airborne, and then he was a teacher at West Point for a while. The, this seller was selling his dress uniforms, and I was like, okay, well, kind of cool. Way overpriced, though. I think he want like $160, $170 a uniform, which was crazy. They were embroidered ribbon bar, but there was nothing special about the uniforms. There were no theater-embroidered patches. They were just... Uh, they were just black dress and then a regular green dress uniform. So I didn't buy them. Somebody went, made an offer, swooped. I think they bought the green dress uniform. They bought the black dress. And then they bought something else. There were two, one or two items from his estate that went to auction. And I think that was a, uh, it was like a senior parachutist. It, it was like a, one of those puffy fighter pilot jackets that did have his name on it. And his senior, senior, uh, parachutist wings. But, uh. I think it only went for around sixty bucks, but um, I didn't I didn't bid on any of it, and then basically I I think about a week later after the stuff had sold, I kind of forgot about the listings and stuff, and I'm on my phone. I think about maybe eleven o'clock at night. It was it was pretty late, and I was just surfing around eBay because there had been a few times before where I'd gotten really cool items late at night. And this particular time, the same seller who sold the dress uniforms just happened to list this uh, list this uh, grouping of a bunch of stuff. It was like a an M fifty one. I'm not sure. It was like this. It was this Korean War era infantry pants. I think I have them somewhere, but uh, anyway, it said. The infantry pants, and then there was a green dress uniform that didn't have a ribbon bar that also had his name embroidered in the pants. Pretty cool. It had the 11th Airborne uh, patch and then his West Point patch when he was a teacher. Didn't really think much of it, but then I saw in the background of the picture that there was this item laying on the table. And I um, I saw that. I scrolled through the pictures showed the dress uniform and then it showed the pants and then it showed this and I saw this for a couple seconds and I, then I was like hey that's an M42 jump jacket and then I kind of I think my brain was kind of like super confused because this is a very valuable item and uh I think the price of this listing was about I think it was $99 and you know how it works make it look cheaper than it is but it was like that much, and then it was the $25 or so shipping due to the weight. But uh, I think my brain was kind of confused because it was like, you know, this is kind of an expensive item to be in such a cheap grouping. I don't think this person knows what they have in this group. I mean, honestly, the M42s look incredibly distinct. You think they do more research on the uniform, but the person who sold it to me obviously didn't. So uh, I was going to make like an $80 offer within that two-minute period. But then I kind of looked at it, scrolled off the listing, and then I went back to it, and and then I just bought it because I was like, Did somebody really just sell me an M42 jump jacket for, I think what the total was like $125. And um, a week of anticipation, this came in the mail, and this is a very cool item. Not only because it's in fantastic shape, besides this, besides from this little hole it doesn't have the reinforced pocket so it wasn't used too much it does have a little bit of condition issues there but that's really the only place i was concerned about its originality there was some paint on it for some reason and some other drops some other marks but um if you do look on the shoulders you can see where there was a lieutenant lieutenant first lieutenant insignia and um, looking at this, you can tell that there was never an 11th Airborne patch. So chances are this was a training jacket. But, um, I mean, considering the price. Oh, yeah, there's one more hole there. Considering the price, I mean, this is just very cheap. And it's in 
such fantastic condition and then i have a got a bunch of information anyway so here's a bit of information for from the obituary so looking at this a lot of information matches up it is funny though he was a technical advisor for the 1952 film jumping jacks i haven't seen it but i've heard of it rotc units uh it's not shape it's actually sheriff supreme headquarters allied expeditionary forces sorry i directly printed this off the obit i probably should have checked how it was spelled but a lot of stuff matches up most of the uniforms sorry i mean all of the dress uniforms had a legion of merit and several campaign medals um Oddly enough, though, I think he only received one star uh, on his uh, Pacific uh, Pacific ribbon. So I I don't think he I don't know if he served a ton, and I don't think he uh, went over to uh, the Pacific using this. I just think this was just something he used for training before the war. But um, luckily. I was indeed online, and I was looking through and a whole thing on members of the 11th Airborne, and I was able to find William T. Call, HQS 11th Airborne, and then his address. So, HQS, I don't know what that particularly stands for. I think it's headquarters, but normally that's just HQ, so I don't know if it's like headquarters service, and I tried to look it up on Google, Google to kind of see what it meant, but uh, I don't really know, so... That's kind of a bummer, but um, at least I know with 100% certainty he was in the 11th Airborne. But uh, going over the jump jacket, it does have its original belt, and then the zipper inside is intact. Sadly, it has been a... These weren't made particularly well, and for some odd reason, I don't know why they didn't try to stitch it with two different strings to the uniform, because, I mean... The zipper is intact in the uniform, but uh, it's it's quite delicate and not in very good shape. But um, I don't know. I guess that's just an issue with how they made it. But just overall, a fantastic uniform. And uh, I, mean, I think this is a registration card. I think he went into service in '43. But uh, this, I, I recall him being a William P. Called Jr. But uh, I don't know. This is just something else I printed out. Oh, also, by the way, I just want to show you, so here's his stamped in the uniform, his laundry number. So, yeah, a little bit of, for some reason, there's a little bit of rust on the inside. It may have just been due to where this object was stored, or maybe if an object was lying on it. But from the condition, I just think maybe a hanger was lying on it for a long period of time. Yeah, see the curvature of that? Uh, I'm not completely sure, but uh, the inside is actually in really nice shape. Okay, so here's the dress uniform, so we can see his nice embroidered edge West Point pads. So later in his service, I do like the, the uh, I do like the buttons. This is this is uh, these buttons are special. You had to buy those, but you probably just bought them because they look better. But they were not regular issue. And then here's a post-war 11th Airborne patch. So, pretty cool patch, not his World War II patch he wore, and it's a single-piece construction. I don't think it was... I don't think this was made out of country, and, uh, yeah. Green dress is in pretty nice condition, but um, I may want to, like, reconstruct his ribbon bar to put on the uniform at one point. Because I know what his uh, bar looks like. But, uh, the uniform was made in San Antonio, Texas. And it's definitely one of the more common makers of this uniform, but um, sadly, the uniform does not have his name in it. Okay, and then these are the dress pants. I don't think these went with the green dress. I think these went with the black dress uniform that was sold. So it's a mistake on the seller's part, but uh, you can see he had, uh, he had his last name embroidered inside the pants. I don't think these have any holes but uh so i'm honestly glad i was able to acquire an m42 jump jacket early in my collecting career i guess you could say um this is definitely going to be a highlight in my collection and um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and um well i just wanted to also acknowledge that uh so when next year happens yesterday 
it will technically be my second year of collecting. So that's kind of cool. Fun fact. So I'll see you guys next year and uh, bye.